everyone, it's Faith, and today I'm going to be doing another makeup video. Yay! Last week's video, I did a haul and a makeup video on the Sailor Moon palette. Um, this video, I'm going to be doing the Powerpuff Girls palette, which I'm very excited about. So yeah, let's get started. So again, going to put my hair back. This week, I found my headband, my mouse ear headband, and I recently got a tattoo, two of them. So that's cool. This sample from Puda Beauty when I ordered the foundation and concealer that I got in last video. And it came with a sample of the Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. So I'm going to be trying that out. I don't know how to open this. Oh shit, that just went everywhere. In the last video you saw that I got the Huda Beauty foundation. So we're going to be using that again. Which I really liked and I kind of recommend. Kind of liking this um, primer as well. So I recently um, started reading the Harry Potter books. And I kind of wanted to do a video on, on them. Like sort of reviewing the book and talking about like the differences that are in the books than the movies. Because if you don't know that there's a lot of stuff that they left out or changed. And I follow a lot of um, Harry Potter like fan accounts on Instagram. And a lot of people talk about how they'd rather watch like a six hour movie with all the details left in the book then for it to be altered for only like a two hour movie which I kind of agree because most of the time they leave out the best part or like a crucial part of the story so I'm actually on the third book um, Prisoner of Azkaban so if that's something you guys are interested in let me know usually I don't plan a look I kind of just wing it, which I'm kind of doing this video too, but um, I thought about it a little bit, so I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to be doing, but we'll see if it works out. So yeah, I've already showed my um, like basic foundation and powder routine in the last video. It's basically the same thing I'm doing right now, so I'm not going to explain it. I just made a big mess with that powder. So I also had an idea of maybe doing a day in the life because... I currently work for my granny, which is awesome. Um, so I basically spend four days a week at my grandmother's house. I help her take care of um, her handicapped sister. She's been handicapped pretty much her whole life, but recently she um, had a stroke. So my granny needed more help taking care of her because she lives with her full time. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting to show what I do for her in a day. She can't walk or talk that good. She only has one good arm and she can barely lift that one, which is sad, but she actually does pretty good for someone that just had a stroke. I forget what syndrome she has that she was born with before that. I'll have to ask my granny about it, but I was thinking about seeing if they would be willing for me to um, record like what I do with her because it's actually, it's kind of fun. So I am using something I didn't use in the last video. Um, I'm going to use the Tarte Peachy Glow. And what I do with this, I mix them together. I think this is supposed to be like a highlight and a blush. And it actually smells really good. So we're going to do eyebrows and then we're going to... Whoa. And then we're going to start on the eyeshadow. Okay, so... I got the version of this palette with the green smudge stick. I think what I'm going to do is the top for my lid, I'm going to do a green um, main color on top. And then on the bottom, do green, blue, and pink on the bottom lash to kind of include all the colors. So let's see how that works out. I'm going to use, I guess I'm going to try to use this smudge stick. Oh. That's pretty. Okay, so I've never worked with a smudge stick, so I think I'm going to use a brush to kind of blend. Okay, so now I'm going to use the color Silico. I think that's what it's called. This green with the fluffy brush. Okay, so I need a darker color to deepen the outer corners, but I have no idea what color I'm going to use because I don't have a darker green. Ooh, 
okay so this isn't in the powerpuff girls palette but i'm gonna use the blue blood palette and i'm gonna use flourishing just a tiny bit of it and try to deepen the outer Wow, this is kind of a hard color to not get patchy. So I'm going to take the smudge stick again and go over. Okay, so I'm going to take Chemical X and put it maybe in the corner. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the Chemical X and go up the just the top part of where I put the smudge stick just to kind of highlight that. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm going to now do the lower lash. I guess I'm just going to follow this order. Green in the inner, pink, blue. And I'm just going to be using um, Rowdy Rough Boys. I think that's what that says. The green I was using earlier. Silico. And then the Fashion Stars. No, it's this one. You guys, the heck? That's pretty cool. Shit. Wow. I'm kind of like impressed with myself. This is what it looks like. I think I'm going to take the green smudge stick and go over on my waterline where I put the green. Okay, so now I'm going to put highlighter on. I'm just going to use my brain freeze palette and I'm going to use cold shoulder. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and put um, mascara on. Motherfucker. I don't think I'm gonna put mascara on my bottom lash. I'm afraid it'll make the bottom look or not stand out as much. Yeah, I'm just going to put a smidge of uh, Jeffree Star Thirst Trap. Okay, so last thing is this Morphe setting mist. Um, I got it last video in the haul, but I just forgot to use it. So we're gonna use it right now. Whoa, I actually like that a lot because I feel like since it's a mist, it doesn't make my face as wet. So that's cool. Okay guys, this is the end of the video and the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next video. Bye.